receive 11 coins. 11 coins cannot be equally divided in two pouches. I almost forgot. A pocket change. The king ran out of sealable pouches. But how do you know the coins are equally divided in those pouches? The pouches are sealed. Nobody can see how many coins they contain. I was told that each pouch contains the same number of coins, and I was assured that all 11 coins are there. We'll see about that. Can you figure out how many coins are in each pouch? How can a visual equation help you? Okay, so as you saw at the end of the launch video, here is the scenario right here that it was talking about. 11 coins fit in two pouches, but he had pocket change of five coins. How might we solve this particular equation? Well, what you could do is you notice that there's five coins here, and we also have five coins on this side. So if we cancel those out, we know that that number of coins cannot be in the pouches. So now we have six coins left and two pouches. Well, in order for them to be evenly dispersed, we take the number of coins remaining and divide it into the two pouches. So each pouch would have three coins. If we go to our next problem, here we have two, four, six, eight, ten coins that should fit into three pouches with four additional coins left over. Same concept we should do. Here's four and here's four so we know that these are the additional coins that will not fit in the pouch. So we have three pouches and six coins. If we divide those up that means each pouch will have two coins. We'll go on to the next one. Now we have two pouches, four coins, equals 12 coins. Think about what we did with the last problem. See if you can come up with this one on your own. Did you get that each pouch has four coins? If you did, you're right. Now this one's a little different. We actually have pouches on both sides of the equal sign. So we have three pouches equals two pouches and 12 coins. Well now we don't have coins on each side, but we do have pouches on each side. So I know that the coins that could be in this pouch, these pouches, equal the coins in these pouches. So they kind of cancel each other out. So I know that each pouch contains 12 coins. Now here we have another one. We have three pouches and three coins equals 30 coins. 
Well, this one doesn't have pouches on both sides, but it does have coins on both sides. So if we take the three coins and we take out three of these coins, because we know those are the extras, that leaves us with 27 coins and three pouches. So each pouch has nine coins. So here we are with another one. We have three pouches and three gold coins equals two pouches and 12 gold coins. Based on what we've done before, now we have coins and pouches on both sides of the equal sign. So let's see what we can cancel out first. Well, I know I have at least three coins on this side. So I could cancel out these three coins with these three coins. That leaves three pouches equals two pouches and nine coins. Well, I could cancel out two pouches. So that means one pouch equals nine gold coins. But how would you check your answer? Well, let's put in what we came up with. We said one pouch has nine gold coins. So if we had nine gold coins in this pouch, nine gold coins in this pouch, nine gold coins in this pouch, plus three gold coins, that should equal the nine gold coins here and that pouch, plus nine gold coins in that pouch, plus our 12 gold coins that we started with. So do we have 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 3? Well, that's 30 equals 9 plus 9 is 18 plus 12. That's 30. Is that a true statement? Absolutely. So you know that your solution to the equation with one pouch equals nine gold coins is correct. Now here we have the last problem that we're going to go over this evening. And what I want you to do is I want you to work out this problem, bring it to class with you, and be ready to give your answer in class. Remember everything that we've talked about so that you can do a great job on the quiz at the beginning of class. Please come to class with any questions you have, and we will, I will take care of your questions before we take the quiz. Thanks again and have a good night.